Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today we are going to discuss about disconnected tables in Power BI part 2. As I promised you earlier that I am going to soon come with the part 2 of the disconnected tables. So here we are. So in today's video we are going to discuss how we can use disconnected tables to compare sales of different years. Generally we have to compare sales for current year and previous year but what if we have to compare sales for current year previous year and other previous years too how to achieve that how we can compare this on a single graph so that's all we are going to learn in today's video so stay tuned till the end of this video If you will see, I have four years, 2014, 2013, 2012, and 2011, which I have compared on the same graph. How did I achieve this? And how did I use disconnected tables to get these results? So that's what we are going to figure it out. So let's see. So let me get started from a very fresh file, which is over here. This file has nothing, even there's no measures. And you will also notice that in this file, once I'll go in the data model tab, there's no disconnected table as well. So what I'm going to start, I'm going to start very first with the YTD and last year YTD sales. Just remember that before starting, you should have a uh, date table and that date table should be marked as your date table. Otherwise, the built-in DEX functions won't work. So always make sure that your date table has been marked as a date table. Now going further, I have also created a one column which is my uh, latest year or not. This is a very simple DAX where I am using the maximum year from my fiscal year because uh, I don't have the data till 2020. I'm just using my adventure works um, uh, database provided by Microsoft. So in this one, I'm just getting the maximum year which is present in my dim date table. If it's equals to fiscal year equals to maximum date table, it's gonna give me the one, otherwise zero, and which I can use one or zero to filter out my data. Now let's get started with our very first measure, which is my total YTD. So for that, first we have to calculate total sales. So let's create new measure. I'm going to give it a name as total sales which is be the sum of sales amount. So here it is. This is very simple DAX. If you have any question regarding this one, please don't forget to mention in the comment section. Now our very first important measure is YTD sales. So Power BI has built in DAX functions which we can use in order to calculate the YTD sales. And over here, I'm going to use total YTD. So this is my total YTD function and what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my total sales and then I'm going to use my date column over here. So dim date and I have a date column. Now what we are going to do, we are going to use a disconnected table to compare various years one. So here we can just compare only current year or last year. In my case, I'm just considering current year as 2014. So let's see if we have more years, how we can do that. So first of all, I need to create a, a year table. I'll just give it a name years and I'm going to use another DEX function which is values it's going to help me to get uh, to retrieve all the year values from the particular column and it would create a table so I'm going to use values here you can notice it's saying when a column name is given returns a single column table of unique values that's how we can use the values so we are going to use dim date and we have a column name fiscal year so let's say fiscal year where we have all the year values just hit enter and you would notice that one year table has been created with the name fiscal year let's check this out if I'll go down 
I'll see this is my years table which I just created and they are the year mentioned from 2005 to 2014. If you will go to the data model and you will notice over here that this table is the disconnected that means it doesn't have any relationship with any other table. Now we have to create one more measure in our fact internet sales table I'm going to create which would give me the last year sales. So how we can calculate the last year sales so let's give it a name last years or last pre, uh, previous year sales year sale for this we have to first create a variable so I'll say this is years back which is first I have to select my current year but here I don't have the current year so you can use another method which is going to be max of fiscal year column from date table so this would give me 2014 from this I have to minus the number of years so that I can for example I have 2014 is my current year and uh, I want to calculate 2013 or 2014 so I can minus that selected year which I'm going to use in my legend so I can do this using selected value and my fiscal year column from my year table because this one we are going to use as a year now after that what I want to do I want to return I'll say calculate my sales YTD over here and I'm going to use date add dex function which is going uh, which is going to help me to uh, reduce a particular interval that means over here I'm going to filter sales YTD based on the year so how I can do that first I need the dim date date column which is my date column and now minus because we are going to subtract the interval over here which we are gonna get from the years back for example just suppose your current year or the maximum year is 2014 and you want to see the data for previous year so that you need to select so that would be the selected value of the previous year so suppose it's 2012 so you will get a difference of 2 which we are going to use over here 2 and what type of interval is it whether it's a days or it's a year or it's a month we are going to use and for us it's year that's it and now you can close this and hit enter so let's bring date field is already there after date we have to drag our newly created previous year sales over here now we have this one as well but right now it's not going to show you anything because we need legend as well and legend is our year field which we have created in a disconnected table so that's how we are using this disconnected table over here so let's put it all there and now you are seeing this one because we have not selected the current year so we have to just select the current year or the maximum year that is over there and here we go so now you can see that different years values are appearing in the different lines and we can compare not even 2014 we have 2013 2012 21 data in comparison to the latest year or the maximum year that's how we can do it and guys one more thing suppose you want to calculate for mtd rather than ytd so you just need to change over here instead of total ytd you can just make it to total mtd or qtd i hope you like today's video if you have any question or concerns, please don't forget to mention in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates.